holiday season is here. It's time to turn on your best behavior. And what better way to do that than with body language? You're about to find out how your body language tells on you. Please welcome back to the show, Sandy Diamond, a renowned public speaker. She joins us this morning. I am so happy to have you back. Me too. Thank you so much for coming in. That makes two of us. I'm thrilled. <laughs> we love having you here. Well, thank you. Uh, we're going to talk about one of my favorite things today. I actually call my husband out on this all the time body language right, right. it really does say so much about a person right oh it does it's a tell you know better not pout <laughs> <laughs> tis the season well so why is this so important especially as we approach the holidays i'm so glad you asked because it is important what we say is important but it's just as important mm -hmm. how we say it and how our body speaks to you we have tells and i can start from the head to the toe if you wish and if you pick up i mean you can really if you know what the body language is yeah. you can really pick up on what a lot of people are actually thinking about you wouldn't you say you can and i always say it's good to be open not close it's good to be up and not down and i'll tell you about that okay yeah. and so mood setters what are mood setters oh your mood setters they you know your eyes reveal everything Ooh. right and so it starts right here the eyes have it so your eyes your eyes are what we want to see and we want to feel eyes up eyebrows up try this when you see someone put your eyebrows up a little bit when they walk towards you mm -hmm. how does that make you feel if i go hi stephanie it's much more inviting indeed it's open it opens the eyelids opens your eyes mm -hmm. makes you feel that you're important we've made eye contact I'm not staring <laughs> but it's eye contact with the eyebrows as well as the eyes try it next time why is it so important to really be able to pick up on body language what does that really do for a person mm -hmm. in communication it's huge it engages you it says we are in alignment mm -hmm. it shows that you if you reach out like this once in a while have an open palm mm -hmm. as we go down the body your communicators eyes mouth hands okay remember up 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 uh, so eyes let's say if you're smiling or just have a, a look of being pleased mm -hmm. Even if you just curl the top of the ends of your mouth, even if you don't show teeth, it looks like you're pleased. It does. It looks like you're at ease. It does. She's rubbing off on me today. <laughs> like well, oh, you, you, you've invented it. You're perfect. <laughs> don't worry. I don't know about that. Don't but, worry. Uh, tell me, what does maybe some of my body language have to say about me? I'm really interested to see mm -hmm. what Sonny has to say. Well, your body language is very comfortable. This is your set. So you're very comfortable. <laughs> your, your arms are relaxed. You know, there's no touching of the neck. Sometimes when people get nervous, they start to preen, and okay. they'll start doing this nervous a habit. lot. I'll okay. do it once in a while, I or just to get your hair out of your face, <laughs> <laughs> in my case. But indeed, if you start seeing people do that, they're becoming very self-aware. Uh -huh. Sometimes it can be flirty. Uh, I was talking about necklines today, mm -hmm. and I was thinking about that. And necklines are very, this is a very vulnerable neckline. Mm -hmm. This is something I would typically wear to a party, okay. yet with the three-quarter sleeves, I can wear it to work. So my body language is telling you I'm more vulnerable, I'm open and friendly today. Mm -hmm. If I were doing a very important board presentation, mm -hmm. perhaps, I would wear something that brought all your communicators up here like a V okay like your whole body is, uh, with a lapel to just have you looking at my face my eyes in my mouth and my hands occasionally but forget the rest of this you just want to look here so if you want someone to really check you out mm -hmm. maybe you want to come in and really have some mm -hmm. fun wear something that you love show a little bit of the shoulder area okay. a little bit of the neck area okay not too much decolletage but just a little bit around here it shows you're a little more vulnerable don't overdo it though you're saying no just a little bit, just a little bit and it, it shows a little more friendliness friendly is the key now the holidays santa is watching yeah yeah uh what how do you know i mean how do you um portray that with santa and, mm -hmm. and everybody's got all eyes on you especially around the holidays yeah you want to make sure that you're you're looking festive mm -hmm. well let's make sure that you are open when you speak with people let's say if you have something beautiful on around your neck mm -hmm. then you know the attention will be around your neck if you want to draw attention to your face mm -hmm. perhaps some interesting earrings maybe that okay. would work for you if you want people to really look up sometimes put your hand up it puts a communicator up Ooh, what a towards trick. your face right like and that. this opens up the area like so, oh look over here <laughs> if someone starts uh, I always say no tapping mm -hmm. none of this okay. and not of tapping with the toes too okay. much. Santa wouldn't be very proud of you. I told him you were good all year. But I was. <laughs> I worked very hard this year. But touching is nice. But be aware, professionally, touching is not what I would recommend. Right. Do you ever hug I somebody agree. and they're like a board? They're like, oh, I don't think that yeah, was what you wanted yeah, to do. Because I am such a big hugger. I will hug everybody. But sometimes, you know, there's a line there that you have to kind of Indeed. walk. Indeed. You, you kind of feel it from the other person. They're either yeah. going to return the love mm -hmm. or you know, oh, that's enough of that. <laughs> exactly. 
exactly. <laughs> and if you want someone to not be a, a camp follower or hang around, you really want them to meet other people. Uh -huh. You want to bring them along with you. But if you say, or someone says to you, I think I'll go uh, to the restroom now, or uh -huh. I'm going to go get a drink, don't say, that's okay, I'll go with you. <laughs> no, no. Maybe no. a little much. <laughs> Your body language will show. They're already pointing their foot. If you really look at them, someone who wants to leave will mm -hmm. point one of their communicators. Their hands, their eyes, or maybe, uh, not in this case, their mouth, but maybe their feet okay. will be pointed toward the door or tapping. It's time for you to say, I'll let you go meet other people. Ooh. Enjoy the time here. I am liking this. I have yeah. so many tricks up my sleeve now when I'm meeting people. Um, <laughs> before we go here, I want to mention, uh, Sonny joined us not too long ago, but you have a book out called Life's a Pitch. Yes, I do. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Oh, Life's a Pitch is so much fun. It shows how you can be approachable or a gem, generous, energetic, and memorable. Okay. And it goes along with my Life's a Pitch sessions, which are play to your strength sessions and show people that you really know how you how to create a good environment and be a treat, not a treat. And where can we get our hands on your book? Anywhere. Amazon. Okay. Go to Amazon. That's the first place I would go. Or, or you may call me or oh. email me. All right, Sonny. Thank you so much. Check sure. out our book, Life's a Pitch. It was so great having My you. My pleasure. Thank you so and much. I'm a hugger, too. <laughs> All right, we'll send it over to Carly. Hugs, Carly. I'm just taking you with my parties. Forget body language. I want you right beside me. That's inviting, yes.